The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the September 9th, the uh, terrific Thursday edition of today's Trader's Z Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find a gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in 877-927-6648. We'd love to hear from you. If you can't give us a call, we've got you covered. You can always let those fingers do the walking. That's right. Go ahead. Send me an email. Send it to Steve at TFNN.com. Inside that subject heading, if you'd be kind enough to put radio show question and in our Tiger's Den, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Thursday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to La Show. Right now, we've got most of the indices trading higher. The Dow is basically flat, as is the S&P 500. The Nasdaq's up 6. The Russell's up 19. Semi's 26. The trainees are the one that are the big losers to the downside. They've been all over the place. They're down 75 points. NASDAQ Composite is up. Wilshire is up. Uh, Spot Volatonix is down a little bit. Off 8 pennies, 1788. Needs to get lower than that in order to give the all clear sign to the S&P 500. Gold's up 5 bucks right now and silver's down 3 cents. Leading the charge dollar-wise the upside, you've got uh, Restoration Hardware, 52 bucks. That's a big move, 8%. Lululemon, 44 bucks. Another big move, nearly 12%. Moderna up 32, 7%. Shopify, 30 or 2%. To the downside, it's Biogen. BIIB off 23 bucks, 7%. Boston Beer down 20. C Limited Ads off 18. And Equinix is down 15. Buck Rooney. So certainly there are things to look at, but we're going to look at what you want to look at. And what you want to look at, and that's the, that you being Michael W. We're going to get to our first question. Michael W. writes in and said, can you please look at the December live cattle contract? It appears to be forming a potential TD9 bottom. What would, need, what would be needed for a valid signal? Thank you. And that is Mike W. In Harrisonburg, Virginia. Mike, thanks so much for writing. Thanks so much for listening in. So here what we've got up on our screen out here are the various futures contracts. One that he's interested in is panel number two. That is the December contract. So we can see it's below a trend line. We can see that it's below profile supports. We don't have any other support out here as we take a look at this chart. Let's pull over Stevie's white background charts. And here you can see that Michael is an aficionado of the TD9 count, and he is absolutely correct. There is going to be bar number nine that forms today and is going to generate a TD9 count bottoming pattern. What we also see here, Michael, that we like, along with that pattern, is an oscillator and change line that recently changed colors about two bars ago. Typically, when that line changes colors, we see a test of that line in support. Now, I'm not necessarily at the 132.35 level where it's printing right now, so we have to come back, you know, days and keep monitoring the stock chart. We do know that at a valid TD9 count, that the bottom can form on bars 8, 9, or the bar following 9. So the first thing you ask is, what do we need for a valid signal? We really need to understand how tomorrow uh, is uh, looking or how tomorrow trades, unless we see some kind of short-term signal uh, confirmation, when I say short-term signal, intraday signals that a bottom is in fact attempting to form as we speak right now for bar number nine. Now, here's the issue. Not all TD9 counts work. You know that. And uh, if, if uh, now I, I am looking at the chart and I do see a few TD9 counts that in fact have worked out here. So we respect the pattern most certainly for the December contract for uh, live cattle futures. 
So what do you do? Now, you have to realize that wherever you place this trade, so it's got to be the low of the pattern. We don't know if that's yesterday, today. Well, it's not yesterday, today or tomorrow. So and if the pattern fails, the price target to the downside, just so you know, is 125.25. That's a TD9 breakout level. That area has been tested and rejected and is held. So there's no reason why price wouldn't head back to that level. We do have a confirmed roads momentum indicator top. But a valid bottom. So now we ask that question. Uh, if I put up the weekly chart... So the weekly chart, you're going to have to forget, because we're in the December contract, not enough data. So, But the oscillator and change line here, price is below that. You can see a road momentum indicator top and a price signaling that a potential pullback to the 124.35 level. But let's not spend our time really there. Let's look at some intraday charts. What do we see? Well, on a 10-minute chart out here, we did get a road momentum indicator bottom and price uh, failed right at the TD9 breakdown resistance level. So, Michael? One signal would be two consecutive close above 129.47 on a, on a 10 minute chart to then suggest, OK, that that's got that's bottom worthy for sure. On a 15 minute time frame, two consecutive closes above 129.30. But really, because there's a new profile that's formed here, what you need to see is a close above 129.49, two consecutive closes on a 15 minute time frame that then suggests run 131.17. The 30-minute uh, time frame chart, Rhodes momentum indicator bottom, price is consolidating with inside its profile. So there, 129.28 level that you're watching, 60-minute chart, Rhodes momentum indicator bottom out here. Its resistance level, that price would have to clear to give you the uh, all clear sign. Price have to clear, all clear. Come on, Steve, we'll come up with a couple of other words out there. Uh, 130.30 would be the number there. But 15 minute, 10 minute, 30 minute. What do we got on the 120 minute chart out here? We got nothing, nada, zilch, because price closed below its TD9 pattern. And so you've got the real resistance levels at oscillator and change line. So if you're looking for a really all clear sign, it's going to be about 129.55 as we speak right now. The four hour time frame chart has wave number seven, letter G, as the uh, bottom. That is likely to be confirmed, but this, and that would be two o'clock. This two hour time frame chart. We're not looking at two hour, we're looking at four hour. The four hour time frame chart, well, let me tell you when that's going to close. Because I don't know, but I'm going to tell you. It was at uh, two, so not until uh, today's uh, close out here. Three, so 1.30. No, that's not right. Mm. Uh, sorry about that, folks. I, 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 apparently I'm having a mathematical issue. And on the five hour time frame chart, you've got a TD9 count pattern. So Michael W., in uh, you're at Harrisburg, or is it called uh, Harrisonburg, Virginia? Out here, you're absolutely right. You've got the TD nine count, and you've got bottom signals on the short term time frames. They just taken, they have not taken out your levels of resistance that you need to confirm that today is the bottom of that count. But in essence, that's what you would do out there, and it seems like you've got this under control. I wish I had some other levels of support for you. I don't. We do know where price will head to, or is likely to head to, if it does not form a valid bottom not not a valid pattern but a valid bottom meaning that it fails out there so mike thanks thanks so much for writing in hope that helps you out with regard to um your uh, cattle trade out there live cattle no other questions at this moment so let's go take a look at the uh, joel we'll do that when we get back from this breakout here unless uh, because we do have call ahead seating out here and that means if you do uh if you do call in you go right to the front of the line unless there's another caller in front of you and then you'll be you know on deck in the on deck circle that's what we like to say out here. Baseball terms. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be back in just a few. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago. And the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019 finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. 
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. C C call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. So we've got a couple of questions that have come in. Let's get to uh, those. First one coming in from Eddie in Boca Raton, Florida. Eddie says, hey, Stebo, in terms of global flow of capital, is the Nikkei 225 recent boom a signal that uh, some of the global uh, capital is being diverted to Japan? If yes, is it significant enough to worry about uh, for the U.S. markets? Can, can we take a look at NTNX as a uh, ticker symbol? And, uh, and then if you have time, can you discuss where you're – you decide to start your TD9 count and uh, why you start recounting one bar after another. Um, that one might be more complicated, Eddie. Uh, that would take up uh, a good portion of the show uh, here. Um, but there is that workshop that you've got access to. I know you're, you're a subscriber, and, and it's explained uh, there. Or you and I can have a off uh, off-site uh, conversation or something like that. But with regard to the uh, Nikkei 225, I wanted to put up on the screen so you could see exactly what he was referring to. So there was a three drive to a bottom pattern that formed out here. It was confirmed with this uh, bearish reversal candle on August the uh, 23rd, and you can see it's had one heck of a uh, move out here. But when we do go take a look at the global flow of capital, so first Eddie would depend if you, if you ask me to start here and just. Look Look at the last eight or ten days out there. I mean, I'd have to go through a number of changes to do that on the global flow of capital charts. But I want to kind of keep things in perspective uh, for you as well. And what I mean by that is, where did I put it? Good Lord. I thought I brought it over here. I did. Okay. So first, a first level of perspective is let's just take a look at general worldwide markets. And here we've got the Dow in the upper left. You can see it's up against a uh, – a horizontal trading range or resistance level. Next to that, you've got the Shanghai, not even anywhere close to, you can see it's still in a descending trend out there. And the Nikkei, the same thing. So the Nikkei's got some resistance, just so you know, it's got resistance at about the 31,181 level. And price would need to clear that, close above that on a monthly time frame. Uh, this is a quarterly chart, but this is a monthly horizontal trading range levels that we're looking at. So on a monthly time frame, Eddie, price would have to close above that to signal that it's ready to get back to its 1990 highs out there. Yeah, yeah. Take a look at the Hang Seng. Just been consolidating really since 2008. Hasn't taken out those highs or what have you. So, um, you know, do the last eight days mean anything? And if I go take a look at, let's just do this here and take a look at the year. So I can certainly share with you the year with regard to the global flow of capital. So that takes a look at this. We've got the, um, where is the Nikkei? 
to right in front of me. There we go. It's on uh, page two or the second uh, page out here. So 9% move versus 15% in terms of U.S. dollars for the Dow or 20% in terms of for the ES mini, you know, twice as much. Yeah, I, and I think what we see here, we take a look at the bigger picture. The bigger picture is still that it is really the U.S. indices that are really now starting to pull out in front. And we do remember from a U.S. standpoint, September is the difficult month of the year out there. So I'm not too worried about the Nikkei. I think it's uh, done what it's uh, supposed to be doing and should continue to head higher uh, based upon that uh, three drive to a uh, bottom uh, pattern out there. I pointed it out to subscribers, but we didn't take a long position in there. Of course, you know, I'm bopping myself upside the head uh, now, of course, uh, in any event out here. So let's go take a look at NTNX, which is what you also wanted to look at. So NTNX, let's see where that is uh, trading. That is Nutanix Inc. Uh, it's got a brand new bear structured profile. So if you're long this, you would like to see this close above and stay above 4273. Currently, price is printing at 43. If you could get it close about 4450, then it says, hey, I'm on my merry way to the uh, to continue to move higher. Let's take a look at Stevie's white background charts. First of all, price is above all profiles, daily, weekly, and monthly. So that's a bullish signal. The question is, do we see anything on the daily or weekly chart that gives us uh, a uh, pause? And turns out there is, Eddie. Uh, two days ago was bar number nine of a TD9 count. So you have a valid TD9 count pattern. And this really suggests that price will go target its oscillator and change line. That would really be, now it's back inside this bearish structured profile. So if it does close below 4273, you're looking at uh, 40 is 22 or thereabouts. And a close below that, the bottom of the profile, 3829. And if price closed below that, 3504. So your question is, can we look at it? We are. You've asked me to discuss the TD9s. I sort of am, but I'm not sharing with you where it starts. And, and But that's that's covered in that workshop out there. So if you just, uh, and that should be pretty much uh, straight away. So you've got a top on the daily. Let's go see on the weekly chart. Do we have any kind of signals out here? The only signal that you've got on the uh, weekly chart really is kind of bullish. Price above that bullish structured profile. It's above its weekly TD9 count top. It closed above that last week. Uh, but where price ran into resistance was at the 48... 48, 40, 10 level, actually price above that. That's a TD9 breakdown area. Now, everything in here in Nutanix looks pretty good, but you've got to be concerned about that daily TD9 count top. But as long as price remains about 40.22, Eddie, the signal is neutral. Valid top, but price is uh, with inside the profile price above that oscillator and change line. So I hope that helps you out with regard to each of your questions out there. And uh, thanks so much for taking the time to write in. Next question coming in from uh, Jim. And uh, Jim says, I'm wondering if you would recommend to buy an ATER. Uh, you wanted to buy it, but worried about getting uh, chase, chasing it. Okay, so let's go take, first let's go see what it's doing, what pattern signals it offers to us. And we'll begin by looking at those TAS market profiles. So again, the ticker symbol here is A-T-E-R. That is Aterian Inc. And Aterian Inc., boy, you got to like what this did yesterday, Jim, closed above a bearish structured daily profile. Nothing more bullish than a failed bearish pattern or signal out there. Price is also trading above the top of its weekly profile. So I understand the chasing comment. Now let's go take a look at, uh, at oh wait, I got the wrong, I'm, I'm sorry, here we go, A-T-E-R. Thought I had punched it in here. And on the daily time frame, well, you like it on all kinds of accounts out here. So price also cleared a TD9 breakdown level of 891. The next one that it dealt with already today is 1072. It's still dealing with that. But you've got your change in trend signal. Your question is, you know, would I chase it? Uh, you want to chase it. Uh, let's look at the weekly chart. Let's just let's just go through the larger time frames. The weekly chart has a TD9 count bottom. Price above the oscillator and change line. If it closes above 926 tomorrow, that's telling us about a change in trend and move to 1655. So the reward risk looks like it's worthwhile. Monthly time frame chart, not enough data. 15 minute chart, short term tops is 951 could be an entry area. 30 minute chart, roads momentum indicator top says 907. So you know what the short term time frame charts, even the 65 minute has a TD9 count top. TD9 count potential in the 130. And so I think that the intraday timeframe charts have answered that question for us, Jim. This is worth going after 
but the short-term charts are suggesting that you should see some type of a, a pullback. So look at these levels. 951 is an area to watch. Below that, 907. Below that, 794. 961 on the 65-minute. Uh, the 30 is at about 860. So, yeah, be, be patient here. Don't chase it right this very second. Wait to see if those intraday signals give us some type of retracement. Um, and those would be the areas that I would be watching. So I hope that that helps you out, uh, Jim. Thanks so much for writing in. Of course, folks, I'd like to hear from you, too, as well. 877-927-6648. If you can't call in, you can always send us an email, steve at tfnn.com. Please put radio show question in that subject, Teddy. We'll be right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. Let's go out to Kansas City and speak with Robert. Robert, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Great, Steve. Thank you for thanks. taking my call. My pleasure. Uh, you would like to take a look at ticker symbol FXI. That's the iShares Trust China Large Cap ETF. Uh, tell the folks uh, what you're uh, looking at and how I can best help you. I don't currently have a position in this, but um, my thinking is is um, what we've experienced last week or so is just another – I'm not convinced that it's bottomed. So I'm looking for a place to go short 
I mean, so many times it's had counter turn rallies, and then it just turns around and goes back down. So I was looking for a place to, to go short. So my, I have a couple of questions for you. One, what's the profile? Is this a bullish or a bearish profile? And then I was looking for support and resistance level, both at the daily and weekly level, please. Sure. So in the daily, price is above its profile levels. Uh, the last profile formed uh, maybe about two weeks ago, and the top of that profile was 39.67. So price is above okay. that, and that's a positive. The weekly is the uh, is the one where price is consolidating within it. 42, and it's a bullish, slightly bullish structured weekly profile. Support between 40.05 and 40.96, and resistance at 42.78. Uh, price got up towards the 4278 uh, level earlier in the week. It looks like maybe on today's Thursday, on Tuesday. And as price was getting close to that 4278 area. So that would have been your more ideal level to uh, take a short on. Let's pull over my other. Well, first, any other questions about profiles before I switch uh, chart panels? No. Okay. Nope, you can go so, ahead and switch. Yeah, so let's pull over the other white background charts to give you an idea where price is likely targeting or headed to. And, and at this stage, without – so there's a completed A to B equals CD to the upside. And that completed yesterday. I can't, I can't easily draw that in here. What I can do is draw some lines. So here's the A to B point, uh, and I'll just uh, make a, a duplicate of uh, that. It won't be able to give me the extensions, but you'll see the A to B equals CD. It was an extension, and yesterday's little bear sash candle gave you that confirmation. So what price should do here, Robert – is price and that oscillator and change line should catch up to each other. That's currently printed at 4065. Not likely to be the area that uh, a good reward risk right now when this is printed at 4052. And if it holds 4065, it could create an A to B equal CD to the upside. We don't don't know that. Um, so you do have the topping signal out here. If I look at a little bit longer term chart, you had mentioned weekly. We took a look at weekly charts out here. Um, what I don't have is any kind of a, well, I've got an A to B equal CD to the downside. But what's missing here for me to confirm the pattern is a bullish reversal candle. Price got up to its oscillator and change line. It's turned down, but it's got that support in the 4005, 4096 level. So not necessarily ideal um, levels to pretty be narrow low. band. Yeah, yeah. I, I I I like your thinking. So and and I see what it is you're absolutely looking at. Um, and it's, so it has nothing to do with the thinking or anything. It's just it's just dealing with where where there's different levels of support. You're trying to go short out here. And I just don't know if it uh, if the reward risk works out for you. Um, I was kind of looking at it. If I look at it on a weekly basis, it just doesn't. I mean, it's uh, I'm just not totally convinced that it's broke the channel. I mean, I agree. And that's interpretation, right? Oh, and then yeah. the same thing if I look on a daily, if I use a. A daily candle. I, I'm not sure, but I just—it's every time it seems to do a rally, it just gets slapped back down. So here, here's, a, here's a terrific, yeah. So, so to take a look at the, at this chart that we have up on our screen here, you know, your your time to be. And this is the weekly chart. Your time to be long. Uh, certainly signals are when prices are above the red and green line, the oscillator and change line. So take us into where we're at or since you've had that decline from February. We can see that the oscillator and change line has really acted as a resistance point, as it is this week. So, again, your thinking is correct. You know, I don't see a – I don't see a – I see an A to B equals CD down that hasn't been confirmed with the bullish reversal candle. I don't see any other bottoming signal. And because the oscillator and change line – uh, has held as resistance. All that makes sense. It's just that you've got a bullish structured weekly profile too. So, you know, and support isn't that far away because the first level of support is 4096 and you're at 4152. So I, I struggle to suggest knowing that you're also focused on the weekly profile that now is really the time to go short. Got it. Okay. No, that's helpful. I appreciate it. Okay. I, I have another. Are you going to cover gold and silver today? Uh, why don't we do, why don't we do it together? What are you looking for? Well, uh, that's another one, and I, I I know that you're there's a lot of people that are kind of thinking maybe this is the bottom in gold, and you know no one really knows. It's you just have to take a position and manage your risk. Sure. But it just seems like uh, it just seems like gold's been on a, a downtrend, and uh, so I was just looking for going uh, potentially short the uh, GDX. Got it. Okay. So, um, 
Hmm. So in order to so you but you want me to look at gold or you're more focused on the GDX? GDX. Okay. So let's go. I, let's, I know let's, you always look at both of them. I, I do so. Uh, so, uh, uh, but I just want to make sure I'm clear with regard to your your thinking. So, uh, where I thought you were looking to go short gold, you're really looking. You're saying, "Hey, gold's in a downtrend, so I'm going to go short the mining equities." So, uh, no problem. Now, in order for that to really take place for you to get the clear signal, and I'm, I still have the gold chart up on our screen out here, uh, you really need to see price close below 1772.60. In 177, so gold is the left-hand panel that we're looking at. What do we know about gold? We know it completed a buy the D point on the daily and on the weekly basis. So we have both daily and weekly profiles that are up here. What else do we know about gold? Gold is consolidating with inside its bullish structured weekly profile that runs from 1772 to 1836. So I would say if you want to go short the GDX, what you're really looking for here, Robert, is you're looking for gold to be up at that 1836 level, up at resistance. Because right now, gold is at support, and support is the bottom of its daily profile, that's 1786.30, and the center of its bullish structured profile, which is 1788.60. Does, does that make sense? What I, I want to just make sure I'm being clear here, or you, 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 you get what I'm saying. No, I, I understand what you're saying. I understand okay. what you're saying. You're saying Perfect. that uh, it's too close to support. That's right. You're, you, you know, you, you really want to to sell something. We want to be at resistance to buy something. Ideally, you know, we'd be at a level of support. And when we take a look at the gold chart, to the extent that we respect the TAS market profiles, which I most certainly do, uh, you're near support. So you'd like to see those support levels broken. If you see a close blow 1772, then that says we get all the way back into the 1660 area. So I like that idea of that trade better. Let's go take a look at silver because you're talking about the 1762 or 1772. Uh, I'm sorry, 1772.60. A close below that could get us back to the 1667 area. Okay. And that's a wide enough spread to say, hey, that that's a trade. That would be a trade to take. So your two shorting signals from the gold standpoint is either gold closing below support, 1772.60, or gold getting back to resistance, 1836.70, or thereabouts. Cool? Got it. Thank you. Okay. okay. Stay on through this break out here because I know others have that question. And we're going to go next, take a look at silver, and then we'll go over to the GDX. So we're on the phone with Robert in Kansas City. I'd love to hear from you two folks, 877-927-6648. We get back to this break, we'll take a look at silver. We'll take a look at the U.S. dollar, and we'll go take a look at the GDX. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. We're on the line with Robert in Kansas City. We're taking a look at gold and silver, the U.S. dollar, the GDX. Right now, we're going to move on to silver. But before that break, we established that gold is uh, sitting at a, a decent support level with one other support level a little bit lower, which is the 1772. Now, Robert, when we take a look at silver, we can see that it had formed a bearish structured daily profile, which price closed above on August 27th, and it has been above that level ever since. Price continued its rally and got up to the center of its uh, slightly bearish structured weekly profile. So that's a clear resistance level of 2491. So price is trading in between resistance from a profile standpoint and support, but it's above a bearish structured profile. And so it's more at support than anything else. And so we have both gold and silver really at support. And, and I would say, I, I could not suggest to you that you would go short the gold mining equities knowing that they're gonna take their cue from uh, these two precious metal contracts. So any questions there? Even though G GDX is below 3210 earlier in the week, you're m mentioning that as a key point. Maybe it was last sure. week. Sure. So so let's go take a look at so let's go take a look at the GDX. Let's put up the GDX now. And when we take a look at the GDX on a daily basis, all that has transpired here so far today is a test of its red oscillator and change line at 3186. Now, if price were to close below that, so that's a level of support that is held. This area has been tested about four or five times uh, since uh, over the course of the last couple of weeks. If price did close below that, it would signal that uh, you would expect or anticipate the GDX to move lower into its next level of support, which is 3091. But right now, uh, it's held that red oscillator and change line and that is not a short signal. That is a signal of price coming back to a level of support and so far holding. Does that make sense? No, it, it makes sense. I just, uh, I guess we'll see how it unfolds. I, I just, I'm looking at the, the, the GDX trending down from June and every time it, it just looks like counter trend rallies to me. So I, hear what you're saying, understand what you're saying, and make the, the support and resistance. I get it. It just, the, the question is, is um, when it turned on Tuesday, is that, is it just reversing another counter trend rally? Is it going to head lower just like it did on, you know, August the 4th? Or is it, uh, or is this uh, an inter intermediate term bottom and it's going to head higher? So the, two, the, the turn on Tuesday, and you're referring to Gold's turn, right? Uh, GDX. GDX's turn. Well, that was that was certainly a result of uh, that was certainly a result of the turn inside of gold, uh, which had gotten up to resistance, which was the top of its weekly profile. That's at 1836 level, where I said, hey, if you're going to take a short, you'd want to do it from up at a resistance area versus where price is at the bottom. As I pull over the uh, GDX here on the daily time frame, did Tuesday's candle session mean anything? It's got a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom that was confirmed on August 23rd, and with price still above, uh, it's still it's all it was doing was getting back inside its profiles. But with it being above the oscillator and change line, it's still bullish. I know it's kind of hard to believe, um, but I have to I have to be consistent in the way that I interpret these tools and charts, and I don't ever want to change that. So 
And, and it's not that it's not that you you I could be totally wrong on this. But with regard to the tools that we're using out here, this much I, I know. So then the other thing I would throw out there, of all the months to try to short gold, September is the absolute worst month of all. Doesn't mean that it can't, but it's the absolute worst month of all. And the reason that is, Robert, is if you take a look at the course of the last 40, 50 years, I forget how long my chart goes back and takes a look at that. September has a almost a 70% chance, I believe, of closing higher in September than it did in August. It is, we don't have many months like that that have those 70% um, uh, chances. So there's a lot going for gold here. Whether it gets that traction move to the upside, I don't know. But Tuesday's action specifically uh, didn't negate any kind of a uh, bullish pattern or anything. In order for that to occur, you need to see a close at least below this red oscillator and change line currently printed at 3186. Okay? That's great. That's some healthy feedback, a counter perspective. I like that. Yeah, no problem. No, I'm gonna. Yeah, absolutely. It wasn't intentional to be counter, but uh, I would I would review it the same way, way no matter what. Um, the last piece of the puzzle certainly is the U.S. dollar index, and and that uh, yesterday ran into a potential resistance level. That, that resistance level, that oscillator and change line. So you can see it's green, price is pulling back. What we don't know, and it's got a valid bottom, TD9 count bottom, right above TD9 count breakout support at 91.68. Uh, but what we don't know is will price just find support at 92.35 because it's back inside this bullish structured profile is at 91.94. Obviously, in order for me to be correct about the direction of gold and the miners out here, you'd ideally see a close in the U.S. dollar index below 91.68 out there. So that's just something to keep an eye on. Uh, but the U.S. dollar index, in order to go short gold, you'd like to see that U.S. dollar index moving higher. And what it did yesterday, it ran right into smack dab into a resistance level, that oscillator and change line. Okay? All right. Thank you, Steve. Hey, you bet. Always good to speak to you. That was Robert in uh, Kansas. A uh, quick uh, look here, just folks. Let me just see if there's any email requests. Oh, there are a few that have come in. Hector and the fuel injectors. Hector wants to take a look at the CVX. So let me get CVX going here. And uh, we'll skip the uh, black background charts because I see there's a number of requests and we're not going to get to them. Uh, sorry, uh, not to all of them. All right. Well, I'll do my best. But with regard to CVX, uh, I'm a dollar bull through Christmas. Uh oh. Okay, we, we kind of covered the, the dollar. Can you see a scenario where oil climbs with the dollar? Or does oil sell off with the other commodities as the dollar climbs? Woo. Oh, so that's a that's a uh, that's not even asking about CBX and you wanted to ask about CBX. So your first question really is about the dollar. And I sort of covered that. And uh, when I say sort of covered that right now, with regard to the direction of the dollar, we know that it hit resistance. It did that yesterday. And now what we don't know, Hector, and you're a dollar bull. If the if the dollar is bullish out here, it's got that nice TD9 count bottom. You need to see a close above ninety three eighteen. 93.18 is the top of the weekly profile. So if you see that, then, then you're absolutely right. With regard to Lightsweed Crude, uh, Lightsweed Crude is, um, let's take a look at multiple time frames here. Give me a moment to get to this panel. And so with regard to Lightsweed Crude, it too is trading into resistance. Now it's, it's a, a, a contract rolled, maybe it was last week or the week before. I like using my synthetic version of the contract. That way you and I can look at daily, weekly, monthly, and quarterly time frames out here. And that's what we've got. So Lightspeed Crude has got a close above, two consecutive close above 69.39. And if it does that, then it's got an A to B equals C to that gets you to 7502.7717. So watch for that. Um, and then at 72.36 to the top of its bearish structured weekly profile. So it's really at 72.36 that your week uh, that your work is going to really be cut out for you uh, out here, Hector. Uh, can the uh, can commodities go higher and the U.S. dollar index go higher? And the answer there is absolutely. Um, I don't think it's going to be uh, that uh, efficient for me to open up my chart that shows time periods where the dollar moves higher, markets move higher. Gold moves higher, but the signal there, uh, Hector, is really uh, individuals having a lack of confidence in governments, and typically governments around the globe. And that's what will get gold moving to the upside for sure. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be back in just a few.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave. Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome uh, back, uh, folks. So two questions. We should be able to get through everything. This one coming in from uh, Mike in New Hampshire. And Mike wants to take a look at uh, Bitcoin. And as we take a look at uh, Bitcoin out here, you've got a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. That formed a couple of days ago on September 7th. Uh, big old bearish engulfing candle. You're asking where is another place to add to your position. So price is back at its uh, bottom of its daily profile, uh, about where it's trading right now. I'm just looking for any kind of signals on a, a short-term time frame. Now, nothing that I've got out here to assist us. So you, you could you could add here, but you don't want it to really close below this level. You don't want it to close below the level of September 7th. And that is, let me give you that figure, that is at uh, 46,850. A close, a close below that, Mike, signals move to 29,480. So that's what I see when I take a look at the Bitcoin charts. I didn't see anything on the short term time frames to say that, uh, you know, bottoming pattern is in and go ahead and fire away out there. So I hope that that helps you out. The last question, this one is coming in from um, Sean. And Sean wants to take a look at ticker symbol VICI. So we're just going to pull over the white background charts out here. And uh, where do you see support and resistance? So with regard to support, you've got a TD9 count top. 
and support is going to be $29.37. Price is below a brand new profile that formed out there. That's its breakout level. That's coming from the daily time frame. The weekly chart out here with regard to where is support, it's at 29.29. So we got 29.29 on the weekly, 29.37 on the daily. If those levels get broken, that could signal uh, quite a move lower out there. So, Sean, I hope that helps you out with regard to VICI out there. And uh, that's great. We got through everything. So, folks, uh, stay tuned. You've got two more great hours, your favorite polar bear with the power trading hour. Dave White, he's up next after that. Tom O'Brien, he'll take us on home. And I'll be back with you tomorrow on Fantastic Friday. But have a terrific Thursday first. And then we'll have a fantastic Friday to follow it up. Take care, folks.